Hi guys, it's Kristen from Kristen Cooks Plants. Uh, today we're gonna make bread because it's a beautiful fall day. I've got the fireplace going. And I mean, it's not like a real fireplace, it's just a gas fireplace, but nonetheless, it's cozy in here. I've got my uh, fall pumpkin candles uh, burning, but once I get this bread in the oven, there's gonna be nothing that smells better than that. So let's go ahead and start. I'm gonna show you a basic white bread recipe that you can put your own spin on it. Today I'm gonna make a uh, garlic and thyme bread and also an onion and dill bread. So uh, here we go. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is we're gonna get our yeast going. So you're gonna need um, a glass container or a bowl with two and a quarter cups of warm water. So I use this Red Star Active Dry Yeast. So you're gonna want two and a quarter teaspoons. That's also equal to one packet if you're using a packet. Now, I'm gonna get a quarter teaspoon of just plain white sugar, sprinkle it on top. Just kinda wanna mix it around a little bit. Now you're gonna give that about five minutes What's gonna happen is you're gonna see it start to foam on the top when it's all foamy and it's ready to put into your remaining ingredient. Okay, so our yeast is nice and foamy. Um, I wanna show you guys, there's an obvious layer of uh, foam towards the top and that's how we know it's ready. So, the recipe calls for five and a half cups of flour, but you're gonna wanna add three cups to start with. Make it well, just kinda push the stuff off to the side, making a little hole in the middle. All right, we're then gonna pour our yeast in. Okay, for this part, you can either use a spatula, your hands, or if you have a mixer, uh, that's what I like to use. This mixer is probably as old as I am, and it's really loud, kind of makes a lot of noise, jumps around on the counter, but I bedazzled it, because that obviously makes it better. Uh, doesn't work any better, but it's at least a little prettier. Okay, we're all mixed. So, I am gonna now separate this into two loaves, because um, this does make uh, two loaves and I'm doing two different types of bread. At this point, you can just let the dough rise, or if you're making um, different flavored breads like I am, then this is when we're gonna separate it. So, I'm just gonna knead it a little bit the fun part to get, get to get your hands dirty and it's always fun to knead bread it's kind of like I think kids obsession with slime like bread dough is kind of fun to play with okay anyway so I'm now gonna split it just right down the middle all right we've got one half that one's a little fatter than the other one there we go okay so now, we're gonna add in our ingredients for the onion dill bread. All right, we're gonna go ahead and mix it again.
Now, if you're adding fresh chopped onions, it's gonna add a little bit of moisture to your bread. So it's okay if you feel like it gets sticky and you wanna put a little bit more flour into it. All right, for the next one, I'm gonna add my other ingredients. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing. Just mix it up, make sure it's thoroughly kneaded. Maybe I should just make a YouTube channel of me playing with bread dough because people by the millions seem to watch kids play with slime. And it's basically the same thing, only this is edible, which makes it better. So might be onto something. All right, now it's all mixed. Now you've got your two loaves. We're gonna put them in two separate bowls. We're just gonna use a little spray grease so that when it is rising, it doesn't get stuck to the side of the bowl and then it prevents it from rising. So I'm gonna put my, look how cute it is. You guys, oh, it smells so good, okay. There's one. Okay, here's another ball. Okay, now we're gonna cover them and I'm gonna let them rise for an hour in a warm place. You're short on time. You can put your oven to the uh, warm setting. Let it heat up to the preheat. Um, once it beeps, turn it off. Put your bowl of bread dough in there and let it sit until it's doubled in size. Usually it takes about half the time, um, but you can do it either way just up to you um, and depending on how much time you have. Okay, so our bread has risen and I just wanna show you what we're gonna do next. See how it's doubled in size? You're just gonna to wanna to put it. So we're just gonna spread it out on a cutting board here. What you're gonna to wanna to do is make a, a rectangle with it. All right, once you've made a rectangle, we're gonna roll it up. And place it in a uh, bread pan that you have greased. Just kinda of push it down in there so it looks like this. Okay. We're gonna repeat it with the other bread dough. There's our other one. The dill, or the garlic and thyme, sorry. Same thing. You're just gonna spread it out. And pat it down a little bit. Same thing. Okay, you're gonna cover that and let that rise for another half an hour. Okay, you guys, the dough has risen in the bread pans. It looks like this. It smells amazing. And now we're gonna go ahead and bake it at 375 in our ovens for about 25 to 30 minutes. Okay, we're back. Bread is done. My house smells amazing. Okay, so I've got my little helpers here today. They're home from school, and they're really excited to help me do some taste testing. So we're gonna get to it. I'm gonna go ahead and just um, cut a piece off of each one. Hmm. What do you think? Is it good? Yeah. Okay, that one yeah. is... <laughs> That one is the onion dill, and this one is gonna be garlic and thyme. Okay. Okay, now try this one. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Which one is your favorite? You like the onion one better? Yeah. I, I, I really like both of them. Mmm, that is really good. I like this one. Yeah? What do you think? I like both. You, have, you like both? Okay. Well, 
Thanks everybody for watching. Um, comment if you tried it. I really want to try to take this bread recipe and make it, um, excuse me, make a, maybe like a chocolate chip cinnamon sugar. Would that be good, you guys? Mm -hmm. That would be really good. So um, go ahead and let me know if you tried it. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. You can head on over to my Facebook and my Instagram page for more recipes. Um, thank you. You guys have a good day. Bye. Waiting parts hard. Hi guys. Oh god. I need to get my hair done. Looks like a bat flew into it.